Hi friends, we created this wonderful website in the last video to sell digital products online using WordPress Meosis WordPress theme and easy digital download. This is of course a wonderful website and it has all the features. But consider a condition when you want to sell digital products or whatever or I'm just presenting a condition to you this is the text content that is very much visible on the very home page of this website and I'm showing you the same page on another browser where I'm not logged in this is showing different content I mean the page is same but the certain part of the content on the page is different how it can be possible this is possible by using dynamic content system at your WordPress website. It is very very important thing and if you own a WordPress website you definitely explore this option because at times you may be needing this feature uh, for promotions and converting sales and many other reasons can be there but yes this is a wonderful feature for presenting dynamic content on the conditions okay so let us come back here how i did this and what is the easiest method to present the dynamic content okay so i am using a very wonderful wordpress plugin uh, for this purpose and it is called if so and it is it has been said that this is the number one wordpress personalization plugin and it is available for trial for free and it is a condition based uh, content presentation system and you can set uh, multiple conditions like you can select geo locations and page visited like uh, if user have visited the page earlier you can show certain content to them and if they are returning visitors you can change the content to them in a time zone and the UTM parameters so there are many many options available in the plugin like I just see the content of this area it is showing all about India like it is showing the time zone Calcutta language English location India and this complete segment is designed for Indian visitors like and this is why it is so so uh, what is if so people are not the same so why show them the same content it is a very very important logic what to show to selected visitors at your website on a certain part of the page and you can set all these things by using this conditional content dynamic content system so I will show you uh, I have already shown you a very simple example so let us see how it is working this is the website and I have already added the plugin ipso here so ipso plugin is installed and activated and since I am using this plugin on Elementor I mean this theme uses Elementor page builder I got an additional action extension of this plugin for free so as soon as I installed and activated this if so plugin I got an alert that I need to add more extension one more extension that is for Elementor compatibility and I installed this plugin as well and both combination will bring the desired result I mean these both combination of plugin can serve as the digital dynamic content system okay so let us see on the page uh, this is page and if we click on edit with Elementor so it works with every page builder each and every page builder don't worry so if you are not using Elementor you might be using WP Bakery or other page builder the plugin is going to work with all page builders so uh, you can see uh, 
on login uh, one indication is here that if so is active so this for this part i have activated the if so condition and you have seen the impact as well uh, this is showing the default content and this is showing for logged in users it is showing different okay so okay and so page okay so for logged in users this is default content i mean no it should not be like default content okay so for logged in users we can see this content and for non logged in users this is uh, content that i typed in fact you can show anything whatever you want and let us see how it works and i have kept a very simple logic just for illustration of this plugin and there are many options available and you can set all these parameters uh, conditional parameters to your website and if you are having any trouble you can get support from us as well so just follow the link of wp themes website if you want to be configured at your website if so conditions okay so uh, coming back to the conditions so i have clicked on the this area where ipso is active and this is the area and okay so on the advanced tab we can see visibility control and enable conditions yes can enable conditions and if so dynamic conditions okay so uh, this is the thing and i have set the parameters if user is logged in so if yes so the content and there are other options so we can same keep it same as global and no loader if so logo or circle and i have chosen the default content so this is why and uh, the default content is being shown there and we can place the default content here so i have already placed this this is default content you can see and you can insert the download or you can place the social media link so whatever you want you can place an image as well so you can place add media as well and you can change the uh, area into image for non logged in users in this condition so i have selected for user logged in and non logged in and there are certain different conditions so i will show you the conditions as well i have chosen the user behavior and there are multiple options like page visited if we are selecting the page visited so if uh, uh, this version will be displayed if the visitors had visited one of the following pages in the last two weeks so we can edit the time frame as well so there are many options in fact i cannot show you each and everything in this single video so and if uh, the visitor has visited a particular url so you can place the url and this condition works with a cookie system so you need to activate all these options and i am choosing under condition now like referral sources if it is coming from any referral link and we can place the link with the uh, utm string and all so it is all here and if it is coming from the uh, one very important parameter is here so uh, okay yes so advertising platform let us assume you are running a paid campaign on the google and you want to show a certain discount percentage uh, to the visitors who are coming from the links that um, promotional links that is available on the google promotion and if uh, they are coming directly to your website you you want to show different uh, discount or different tax to them so there are two types of user one coming from the promotional link and other coming directly to your website so you can offer them uh, different discounts or different content as required so it is 
a very peculiar way to convert your visitors so if you are running campaign they can and you can offer different thing and if they are returning visitors you can offer different uh, content to them the different options for them on the page so you can imagine how really it is helpful for you and you can con control all the content on the page and all the section of the page can be controlled here so if you are uh, willing to show this image and you can set conditions again so uh, uh, let us say we are going to show or not so you hide or uh, show the this particular image so we can set conditions again and uh, okay so advanced option is here and visibility control we can switch on enable conditions and we can put further conditions like this so we can put default like we can change the image certainly uh, i am placing a media item let us say add media and i will change the media item here just to show you uh, okay so let us change this media uh, how long it is i'm willing to show uh, okay it is very big we can place it it is very small and this is already being used okay let us put this so insert post enter insert into post and we are changing the media and we can place the condition here if uh, the user is logged in so uh, this condition is very simple to implement so this is uh, what this is why i am showing you this only however you may uh, select the condition as per your requirement like geolocation so if you want to show this image to particular country like uh, uh, you want to show this image in india only you can select the geolocation conditions if uh, target location so you can put the country code here i n so iso code has to be put and country is india uh, so condition we have selected india and now we can set the conditions as i said uh, we need to place iso code for country you can further drill down the uh, filtration i mean where to show exactly in a country we, you can also choose city or continent or state or time zone level so we have chosen the country level and we have already updated uh, the condition and we have placed the default image here if this image will be shown if the visitor is coming from india and we have placed two conditions now on this page for this area and for this image part so it is already active okay so it is fine and i am just wondering where the symbol is so two condition is here and for this image part we have set if if this so this image if uh, for this image part we have selected one image so this particular image i mean this uh, virtual girl image if the user is in india and don't show anything uh, if it is not india so we can uh, change the conditions of course so i have just taken two examples how to set geolocation and how to set the login and non-login users now i'm I have saved all this condition and I'll show you the impact. Now uh, this is a proxy browser and you can see mm, I'm using hide my ass here and it is set to USA it is not in India. So for non logged in users the condition is it is showing default content and image is not being shown here. It is really wonderful control on the content on the page sections in fact you can control each and every area of page what you want to show to whom you can select any condition as available as i shown there are many and uh, i'll show you the different and this browser is certainly being uh, i'm 
I have opened the link in the Firefox browsers and I am accessing from India. So this image is being shown here. And since I am not logged in, so this is showing default content. And again, if I am logged in here, I can see this. Okay, so I am refreshing the page. I am logged in. Okay, so I believe some conditions have been changed here, but it does not matter. I was focusing on image part uh, here, and yes, okay. So I was just checking this why this has not been shown properly. So we can change the condition again. And I was just showing, uh, okay, so user behavior we need to select here, okay, so that is user is logged in yes and we can update this so two condition i shown you and similarly you can set all the conditions wherever you want whatever you want and now this content can be seen in india for logged in users and this image for india uh, non-logged in users or whatever login condition is not applied here so we, you can see the impact here so this is non logged in users and in USA the image is not available and India the image is available and this is default content for non logged in users. So I don't want to repeat all these sentences again and again there are multiple conditions that we can set here and it is really a wonderful control over the content. Uh, for our website and we can use this uh, scenario and use these conditions for multiple logics and we can really collect more and more visited information or we can uh, of course we can use this plugin or feature for personalizing the content and it is definitely going to boost our conversion rate as well so this is if so and again i am telling you if you need any support i mean in an understanding you can write in the comment section of this video and if you like this video please like and subscribe even share so i am uh, working very hard to bring all these wonderful resources for your wordpress website and let us meet in our another video in which i am going to bring another wordpress resource for you thanks for watching keep reading